BBC News has become the least reliable news source in the entire UK and BBC Question Time has lost viewers, but they're trying to cover it up. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, yes, you have heard that right, the BBC has become the least reliable news source in the entire UK, and it's absolutely fucking hysterical about it, and the even better thing, Question Time has gone terrible as well, and, well, I'll tell you a little story about Question Time, but I do apologise to everyone who watches the videos, I know I've lost two guys, two subscribers, very, very sad, and... I know it's been a while, I've been really slow with the progress of my videos because I have been very, very busy because the next of January 2021, it's going to be a very busy year for me. But I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing. But there's going to be an exclusive thing for you guys on this channel for the entire way I cover politics and news entertainment itself. And you should stick around to the very end of the video for it to be beneficial for you and your friends. So, please stay tuned for that. So let's go to the BBC. Oh, 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 wow, I have... I mean, that was the best news I heard all day. Although I know it's late, 27 for 26, it was announced to me that this was actually a thing. The BBC has lost viewers. It is, it is, it's losing. It's, it's going terrible and it's going really, really low. This is from the news source of Guido Fox. Ofcom, BBC News falls to last place in viewers' impartiality rating. So this isn't just any other news source. This is Ofcom. So we've got the whole list here in the picture. So I'm going to let you see the picture itself. And wow. I mean, I don't quite believe this. But it's something, I guess. And they've actually made it really worse. So the fact that BBC's at the bottom is fucking hilarious. So they've said Sky News is the most trusty news source. Okay. Salty people on there. They've said set be Channel 4 News is second. ITV News is third. Channel 4 is 5 News. And fifth is BBC. To me, Sky News is mildly okay. It's in the middle. But impartiality is not in any of these networks' interests. Like, I would rather watch Maya Tutsi over these five channels. I'm not joking. Subscribe to him. He's reached two over 200,000. Well done, by the way. Now, I'm, I'd rather look at different viewers, but... Sky News seems to be the top one. But that's going to leave the article, because the numbers... Wow. The latest off-com research has seen the BBC fall to lowest ranked TV news offering in the country. Lower... In Below Sky News, ITV, Channel 4 and Channel 5, just 58% of viewers now rate the corporation's TV news offering as impartial, with Ofcom warning that the viewer broadcast relationship could be jeopardised in the current state of its affairs continues. Oh, really? I mean, it's not like we just got the, the Vicar of Derby doing something, did it? Or the football game, or anything the BBC has done in the entire year. I mean, there's a reason to fund the BBC, hashtag to fund the BBC as a thing. And they keep continuing themselves every single day to make sure the BBC is not giving a shit about because people don't care. I like I say, I'd love to watch someone off of YouTube like Maya from my news source or West Monster for news information than I do for the main channels because they are biased towards the left, every single one of them. And they don't even tell the true stories anymore. It's absolutely sad to see that. But let's just look at these numbers. The search source Sky News went out on 69% up to 5% on two years following by. So they got by 69%. Channel 4 News became second with 66% with a minus. ITV News became 63% with the minus 2%. Channel 5 has 61% with 3% up. And the BBC has went to 58% on 
minus to 1% from the year before or two years ago. Well, I tell you that. Doesn't fucking surprise me, does it? The fact is on 58, on partiality towards the left and it does the right, it is not a surprise. Because for years people have been sick of the BBC for actually going full lefty instead of actually, you know, doing their job, entertaining the public and making good content. They've, they're more interested now for doing diversity, as you can see. They started doing this creative diversity thing. This thing I found in Aberdeen Union Square. This is just not a place for it, the kind of thing. But it's okay. They will fall. They will burn and crash and burn. And we will victorious in their fucking grave. I'm sorry for the people who have the work there. But the thing is, you don't... You believe in the system that you were in in the first place. So it's not like I have to give you too much sympathy. And they keep going. They don't stop. They think, how much further can we go without... Pissing off the entire everyone. So let's talk about the BBC in question time. So, as I said, the, they are going very lefty all the time and it doesn't stop them. One of these shows that they made, which was actually okay, but then now has just become an eyesore to watch, is BBC Question Time. If you don't know what BBC Question Time there is, it's a quite a unique, unique experience of a show. A show is designed to have politicians or people in their field be questioned by members of the audience in the same thing. So let's take something that happens through the weekend. We'll get a lot of MPs speaking to the co-show host and the audience on questions. And you really do see a reality of when things go wrong. As in people do not take the crap that MPs said. We saw this massively when we saw big MPs or big people in their fields talk about the 2019 general election going at Jeremy Corbyn for going get, being socialist. That is fucking amazing to watch. And there was one of those phenomenal ones that we saw Lawrence Fox finally come out the box of his Hollywood phase. Or I'll call it that for now. And they get this woman calling him a, you know, racist and so on, a white supremacist. And it was actually one of the unique moments that we got to see for ourselves where these movements come from. If you didn't piss people off, the movement, the enemy faction movements wouldn't exist, you dumb lefties. But BBC Question Time has stopped doing that. And it says from the title here, BBC Question Time viewing figures have deafened amid records of, low, of low reports. Although the BBC is trying to cover it up and say, no, that never happened. <laughs> These guys are so funny. It's like, it's so clingy on them themselves. But I'll tell you before I read the report here of why it fell down. Because, well, there's a thing that Question Time did before, which was bring an audience into the studio. And you know where the Coca-Cola virus going about these days? Having audiences together in the same room just do not work. I can say this for the exact same thing in Debate Night in the Scottish channels, which is the same thing. And I don't think they actually have any audience in them now. It was basically just a lip off of the question time by a Scottish edition of it. And well, <clears throat> now you have no audience. And now people come on the show, they can say whatever they like, they live in their little lefty community bubble, and well, no one can question them. No one can go up there and say, excuse me, you're speaking bullshit, bullshit. you're speaking you're not speaking like that doesn't make sense. None, you, we're going to call you out on that bullshit. And I saw this right back at the start of March. I think this is when they stopped doing it. And they were talk about Ascension Island. Look at that up, what it is. And basically when they started talking about it, they all basically just agreed in their own little bubble. And they argued amongst themselves, but it wasn't anything close. It was like, it was so cringeworthy to watch. It wasn't worth watching, guys. It just was not worth watching. And me and millions of other people have just stopped watching the show. And here you go, exactly what has happened. And the ratings have just fell. BBC has refuted the reports that ratings for their flagship political show Question Time are an all-time low. And oh yeah, by the way, this is from a deleted article. So as long as the BBC sucks your little son's bobby, it's okay, the Sun will delete any article that they have, don't worry. But the Herald is there to report it for you. Thank you, Herald. In now a deleted article, it was reported that the viewing figures from the show are plummeted to an all-time low. 
during the episode in October with just over 620,000 viewers. Wow, that is a plummet. Wow. However, the sh BBC has started an episode... Sorry, sorry, they said the episode in question had 1.3 million viewers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Because every time we're going to believe anything from the BBC, we're going to look at any other YouTuber in the world. And that is absolutely... <laughs> Wow, that's terrible. There are YouTubers who get more views than that a week than the BBC. There's more people who subscribe to the YouTube channels and political commentators on YouTube than they do to the BBC and they do to this. This So this is really embarrassing. Wow. Addressing claims that the episode had political show hosted by Fiona Bluce had just over 620,000 views last month. The spokesman BBC said this story is completely untrue and the figures are not accurate. Com Question time achieved a wealthy uh, 1.3 million viewers when it aired on BBC One and its annual short time and it was obviously a lie. The reports have claimed that the episode aired on November 19th obtained 700,000 views with the BBC starting it had 1.4. And, wow, just, it's just wow, because you would think, you'd think they would actually tell the truth for once, but no, they, they just, they didn't keep going, because it's, it's funny how they're still, we're still able to pay for this, and I'll tell you another thing why the BBC's question time has declined so far, is because they're left-wing bias, I mean, basically, when this one guy came on the show, this was when I still watched it, and by the way, I was actually on the show once. Not as a panel, just as an audience. You saw me one time. Um, there was this guy that said, for every four presenters or co-presenters on the show, you had one Brexiteer. Showing the entire bias of the show just from that line alone. And it is that clip out somewhere. And people just don't want to listen to it. Because one, they don't want to be lead pilled. Or two, they're just that stupid. It's one or the other. But look at the tweet here from BBC. The reports online of the Sun and Question Time audience numbers are untrue. The figures are long. Question Time achieved a wealthy 1.3 million viewers and on October the 1st, 1.4. Not the number that the Sun said. On November 19th, a great performance from our team given to pleasures on the pan of the pandemic. Well, that would be great if the BBC, every time they made something, didn't pander to the left. That's their problem. They pander to the left every time. And everything with that show is just a left-wing bias. But it's okay. Go woke, go bloke, and question time. It will be just another one of these presenting shows. And it will just fall. But it's okay. You have conservative media outlets doing the news for you. Like Maya Tutsi. I trust him for the news sources out there. And I beg you to subscribe to him. And I'll better tell you the news on this channel. It might sound funny to you. Although I have no support right now. We are planning to do our own news service. We're planning to overlight the BBC. We're planning to overlight all the other ones. I all the left wing bias channels. We're planning to go bigger than anyone else. We're going to be the max news of the UK to tell you the truth, the only truth, and the nation's only truth hub. And this will be my own personal project to keep on. That's why I've been so slow making content recently. But the thing is, we need you guys to support us. We need you guys to support the network, but I will talk about this way more in another video coming on Wednesday. This Wednesday, the knife to explain exactly what this is. But the main news is, forget the BBC ratings falling. Forget the question time ratings are falling. Here he goes again, is going to be starting his own new political broadcast where he will use whatever devices he can before the big network medias go hyper on him. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and see you in the next one. Hail to the Empire. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very, very end, because that means you're a special person, and you support the content that I make on this channel. Because every person who watches this is an honour to be watching this channel. And for anyone who wants to support this channel any further, because we know the tech giants on Hollywood Boulevard do not want us to see each other's comments, and don't want to see the truth out there, so, 
please be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and follow us on every other of the major single platforms out there. We are everywhere as much as we can to be and we're going to try and make as much content for you as possible. But if you have any ideas for content out there, please be reasonable and use the word hashtag talk about it and the question below so in the comments section if you have an idea because everyone's ideas are free and optional no radical stuff and please be sure to fund us because we are all funding projects will go a long way to making you a must trusted reliable source so thank you guys hope to see you in the next one and remember hail the empire <laughs>